make sure they can see us, hear us, all that jazz. Yeah. Hey there, everybody. Tom Mills here with the Mills family. It's time for our live dinner together, and we invite you guys to eat dinner with, with us. Maybe you're eating a bag of chips or something else. But hang out with us at the table, and we can talk and eat food and have a good night together. Hopefully you see right, us, because I'm still not seeing it. Yeah, I think the gnome Oh, there we are. Phew. Okay, good. Hi, everybody. All right, you can, you can see us. So, um, let's go ahead and pray so the kids can start eating. So, dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day, for this food. Thank you that we could provide it for us yet another day. I pray you'll provide for us tomorrow. Please bless the food of our bodies. Continue to guide our paths and show us ways to go, and what to do, and where to turn. Please pave the future for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so you can see we're having breakfast for, for dinner. I barely got it ready. I was actually toying with the idea of making dinner live. And just chatting with you guys while I was making dinner, no way that would have worked. I already was a little bit, I should have let the bacon go a little longer. I tried a new method for cooking the bacon. There's supposed to be like bacon chips. Um, it's good, and it looks like it's more edible than a lot of bacon I've made in the past, but I probably could have gone a few more minutes with it. Um, there's another bout of something else going around, so Judah got sick and then me and Asher kind of caught that, and I've been coughing for about a month now, and in between there, the little girls got some sort of st tummy bug and were vomiting all over the place. You guys, be, be good, okay? Listen, be calm. And then uh, that passed. Me and Asher are still sick with the cough and stuff. And now there's a, something else going around. But there's some sniffing and runny noses and not feeling very good. So now Claudia and Judah and a couple others have gotten that. So it hasn't been a very good time for sicknesses around the Mills family house. So we're having uh, stuffed French toast and regular French toast. Stuffed French toast is stuffed with strawberry cream cheese. That's what I like to make. Bacon is still good, even if it's not as crispy as it should be. Yeah. Do you like bacon? No. Welcome. I need an ice cube. Milk. The bacon, I tried a new method for cooking it. You take two pounds of bacon and you cut it into thirds and you layer it into a pot with the lid on it on the stove on high. And then every three minutes you stir it. And then it comes out like this. Pretty easy and much more like pan fried bacon. Did you go get a chest x-ray? No. They were going to give me one when I went in last time, but the guy told me my lungs sounded clear, but I went again later on and they said my lungs were probably not clear. So they prescribed me some medicine, but put some raspberry syrup. That's blood syrup. Anyways, I didn't get it. The, the x-ray was going to be a few hundred dollars. And uh, I didn't want to waste the money when I was I was in a good prescription anyway. So how is Hannah doing? She's doing good. She's happy because she's getting some uh, scrambled eggs, which is her favorite food. Oh my gosh! It is look. Yep. Yeah, my favorite food is scrambled eggs. I saw that over there. I'm not sure I knew that her favorite food was scrambled eggs when I, when that went up. Grandma Kitty made some posters on the first day of school and asked the kids to color them. And one of the questions was what your favorite food was. And 
Hannah told us it was scrambled eggs. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Put it so good. He thinks blueberries are good. Eden, how are you adjusting to public school? I think she's liking it. I don't think she liked it very much to begin with, but she's starting to grow into it and she's made a lot of friends. And of course, that is really nice. I mean, she's getting help in math, which was difficult. So well, thank you, Sherry. I just saw that your message. That's so kind of you. You guys have been so good to us. We're very lucky to have all of you in our extended YouTube family. Well, thank you, Carol. We sure like you guys too. That is important. Almost did, but I didn't. Yes. This is really good. But why you eating it? So good. Last time I made you guys stuff French toast, I didn't have any. Oh. Uh, Not how good it was. Things are good. Bacon is good. Well, this is French toast, and this is bacon here in the middle. Aw, thank you. I did actually make some merch up. I had some shirts designed, and I never put the store active on YouTube. I need to just do it. Did you put pepper on the scrambled egg? Yeah, you can. I did, yeah. But you can put some more. You guys got any good idea for what you'd want to see in the line, in the way of merch? Put it down in the comments. Don't put it in the chat here. Leave a comment later on with what you think the merch, what kind of shirts you would like. Or whatever. All right, come back and see them. Bacon scrambled eggs and stuffed French toast, strawberry cream cheese, stuffed French toast, and then regular French toast for little ones don't like stuffed French toast. Claudia, what about you? You like in school? What's your favorite thing about going to school? As long as somebody you're going to be stranded on an island. The extra the sour cream. Are what do you like about school? It's going to happen. What's your favorite class? My favorite thing to do? Play outside? I think that's most people's favorite thing to do. What game do you play outside? I think you play a lot of tag, don't you? Yes, just as is working, we are unclear what time he gets off. It's past 6 and he hasn't called for a ride yet, so maybe he's closing at 8. We're not sure. Monthly shopping trip is edited, uploaded, it'll come out tomorrow at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. So, um, 15 hours from now, whatever your clock says. I 
it's more than you can. <laughs> yes, live dinner was supposed to be yesterday, Allison. We didn't have a chance to do it. Do you remember last night? I did a hole. Mm-hmm. Claudia got up during the night because she was sniffling a lot. some maple syrup this time instead of raspberry. It's called I love raspberry or boysenberry syrup, but we don't find it very often for sale. Occasionally I'll order some or someone will give me some for Christmas or something. It'll last me a while, but Eden's an English fan. You like literary animes too, don't you? Come, Dad. Because the actor dies every time it's bedtime. And he's in the girls' room. What does he do in the girls' room? Who? Asher. What does Asher do in the girls' room? He reads this a Story. Yeah, Asher's been reading. What book you been reading on these days, Asher? Uh, mostly random books. We started the Rush Limbaugh book. No. Uh -huh. Wait, what is that book again? It's The Hobbit. It's a book about America. And then we read we did the Beat one to watch that. Let me do it though. It took so long. It's like a chapter book. <gasps> The Hobbit we watch more than a week. So it's basically the Hobbit book. Yeah. Well, the Hobbit is not this cute. Okay, the Hobbit has a smiggle, and there was a yeah. smiggle in the Lord of the Rings, so it's basically the Why Hobbit. The no, the Hobbit is all out. Whoa! Well, Why is the smiggle Yeah, I'm the friend. No! Uh, you're the smiggle. Bacon and like egg like pie. Like sound like it. I've never had that, but that sure sounds good. Andrea used to make something called pizza eggs, where she'd make a bunch of scrambled eggs and put stuff in them, and a little bit of cheese and herbs and butter, and then just cook them and then slice it like a pizza. So maybe it has something to do with that, but with bacon in it. Oh, I know that bean daddy. Yeah, sure. Because I'm making bacon as much as you can with the rest of it. Um, so on the bacon, it's not fat. It's just white parts. The oh, baked pig meat is red and white. It's not yeah, like chicken. Dad, I'm going to have eggs kind of like chicken and Out of all the girls, who looks most like Andrea? That's really hard. I think a lot of my girls look like me. I think Hannah might be the closest. Too, Mom. Because her hair is pretty dark like Mom's was. Yep. Wait, why did Mom always have two braces all the time sometimes? I don't know why. Why did she have what? Mom had two braces all the time. She didn't have two braids all the time, but she did sometimes. In that picture you see, it comes up there, she had two braids. And sometimes she has one. Mm -hmm. Mostly she didn't braid her hair very much. Dad, do you notice something? Mom's hair is dark as Hannah's, but Mom has a bit of gray in her hair. Yeah, she had a lot of gray in her hat, in her hair. That's why I thought it looked pretty like. Mommy had gray hair when she was 13. Quiet. I'm not going to know I got gray. You got any gray hairs yet, Eden? No. Not that you know right now. Well, I do have blonde. You probably dyed them. Yeah, I know. Most of my hair is turning blonde now. Do you like your hair the way it is? I was thinking we need to, at one point here, we're we'll going to have to schedule to get it touched up. Maybe they can try to accomplish what we were trying the first time. Hey Dad, I don't want my own hair colored well, at all. Hair used to look I like want it to be blonde by itself. Oh, wait, no, I don't know what happened. Okay, my hair is just going slowly, slowly down my head. Cheeseburger yeah. pizza. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. I don't think I should eat anymore.
do the um just my eyes. Does anybody else want any more scrambled eggs? Yeah, but yeah. But you Hannah want some more, Hannah? Too many eggs, really more. You're full. Yeah. Wow, you don't like scrambled eggs? I do. I was eating earlier. But you had a lot of eggs, scrambled eggs. You sure have a lot left. Do you not like scrambled eggs? I haven't eaten any. Well, I think I'm gonna have another little. I shouldn't eat much more. Yep. My hair's turning blonde right now. That's what I'm saying. Does anybody else want anything else? I've been, uh, since I've been sick, I get full really, really easy and then I'm miserable. Oh, speaking of that, Dad. Have you come up with dinner ideas? Well, I don't know how to make a whole lot of things. So, I usually stare in the fridge until I see something that needs to be used up or something in the pantry that needs to be used up or something special. Occasionally I want to do something real fancy. But I mostly just fly by the seat of my pants. I still have the menu cards that I want to finish, but what baby girl? Um every time I'm eating um Lunch at school by myself at the table while I wait for everyone else. Mm -hmm. Um, Miss Tiffany comes comes and says, "Grab my stuff, Claudia," and then I do. She says what? She says, "Grab my stuff." Grab your stuff? No. Um, she says, "Grab my stuff." Oh, I see. Did you watch her stuff? Mm -hmm. Well, that's neat. You, you help her out. Yeah, she did it two times. So no, the first time she did. Um, no, she did three times. So the first time she did her right. glasses and her water, and then her the second time she did her glasses and water, and then the third time she did just glasses. The bacon must have been a hit, huh? No. Even though it could have been a little crispier? Yeah, I like that bacon more than the normal bacon. Really? Yeah. It was super easy. And that is what we're going to be doing in the future. I'm full, Dad. Yep, yeah, Claudia, Sophia, no, Claudia, Eden, and Justice go to school. No, Dad, I go to school. Well, yeah, why does it you all go to school, but you go to go somewhere else to go to school. The other ones we still homeschool. Hey, Dad, why does Sophia oh. go yet? We'll talk about that later. This is just how we're doing it right now. This is um This is Eden's taking like a home ec food class. What else do you have in there, Eden? All the basics. What's your other elective? So like you can have the bacon add both the red part and the white part, and then you eat it. I think I want to put some syrup on it. So, so you want to put syrup on bacon? Solid. Yeah, I'm gonna make the Adam's family dad. That was I was doing, Claudia. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. All right, I'm done. Hey, with your mouth closed. What are you doing? Oh, well, thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. I'm sure trying. I'm making my Adam's family time. Me too, Dad. Yeah? The shaving cream? You're a shaving cream. You're a shaving cream. No, you're a shaving cream. I made too much stuffed French toast and not enough regular, didn't I? Oh my gosh, I just broke the pencil. Oh no. I just what are you doing? It'll sharpen again. I hate stickiness, so I'm going to clear off my plate here real quick. <coughs> I have breakfast ready to heat up in the morning. That's a good idea, actually. Hey, Dad, guess what? Something weird. 
And I would always think about clean bees and clean ants. Like I thought they would have, they would have crowns on their heads, but they don't. I see. Yeah, yeah we've, we've tried bacon in the microwave. Microwave bacon is like the best bacon, I think, a lot of times. It's crispiest. Well, pan fried's the best. But it's so much work to pan fry two pounds of bacon. I'm not going to do it. So, um, we basically, in the last several years, have been making bacon in the oven. So, lining, I got some special trays to put them on, put them over a pan, and we cook them in there. They get nice and crispy, but they're almost so crispy, they're not good anymore. So I saw this video on YouTube the other day where you just cut bacon up and you just throw it in a pot and you just put the lid on and cook it and keep stirring it every three minutes or so. By far the best bacon we've ever had, so. Family seems healthy and happy. I don't know if my cooking is good. I'm keeping them fed. And I'm actually getting some healthy stuff in them. I wish I could get more. But it's a fine line between spending a lot of time and nothing getting eaten. And making them all garbage. So. Really something like this is actually pretty good. Obviously, with the syrup, it's got a pretty high sugar content, but there's a lot of protein, a lot of eggs. you got eggs in the French toast. I use 18 eggs in the bacon. I think the bacon is pretty good for you. Obviously, grease isn't good for you, but... No. My lady friend's doing very well. I'm very happy to have her. Very lucky. What does this face like? What? Yeah. I don't know why. Is she a good cook? She's a good cook. She's a much healthier cook than me. Uh, who is? Don't say her name, okay? What do you mean? Don't worry about it. But, um, yeah, she would say she's not a good cook, but she is. Oh yeah, not a bad idea, must love dogs. Andrew used to put in herbs, oregano and some of the, that's not, that's not spinach, but you're probably right. What do you got? What'd you make? Oh, the Adams family. She did a, you're going to be quite artistic. So there's Wednesday there, obviously with the kind of the, smi the kind of the not smiling face, and none of them are really smiling there. Pugsley smiles. Pugsley smiles. Yes, he does, doesn't he? This really cute. But in one of the books, they make Pugsley's hair yellow. What was that about? The kids like fresh fruit. Um, yes, I was going to add some fruit in there, but I was already panicked. It's all get out, stirring the bacon, scrambling the eggs, and having to dip and fry the, cook the French toast, get it all together to be ready by 6 o'clock on the dot. It was really, really hard and scary, so I probably could open some canned fruit, but I was pretty lucky to get this out the way it was. Um, yeah, Andrea had a lot of funny moments. She loved to laugh. Yeah, it's probably good. I know I could delegate more with dinner. He didn't help me with the scrambled eggs in the early stages. When you're first starting scrambled eggs, they kind of need to be watched a little more. And then they need more attention when it's going later on. So she helped me out with that. I could lean on him a little more, but 
most of the time I just need dinner to get done, you know. A lot of I should be teaching my kids more. I should, but you know when your kids, your little kids, help you in the in the kitchen, it's not always a help. Fia helps me a lot. Me too, Dad. Yeah, and Fia will do things like she got all the trays out for dinner, for um, setting the table and the cups, and she'll get me things that I need, and so that's actually really, really helpful and useful. But if you're teaching them how to cook stuff, most of the time it, it's harder than doing it by yourself. And when you're beginning expansion of the house, I've been going back and forth on it, so I almost was going to have it done by now, but <coughs> still not sure on some things. Got to wrap up yet. But what are you drawing? That's going to be the plan. As long as things keep going the way they're going. Claudia, where'd you get it? You better put it away you're done. Lazy lasagna. Oh, that sounds interesting. My kids generally don't appreciate non-lazy lasagna, though. I don't know why. Lasagna is good. To be fair, I didn't like it as a kid, but it's just basically spaghetti. Oh, thank you. How's Thomas doing? I don't see him near enough, so he works all the time, and I think he sleeps pretty late. And so, since he uh, he usually works from 12 to 8, and usually I don't, I just don't see him. But he's, he's hopefully changing his schedule a little bit. They said that they're going to be changing him his positions. He's going to be doing more office work, and he's moving up the ladder, I guess. And so, he's going to be. Uh, Hopefully getting done at 6 in the future. If that happens, I can probably start swinging dinner for him. You know, I can probably navigate dinner a little later maybe. That's kind of my hope. I'd like to see him more. What is this? Did you draw that by yourself? I drew the hair. Oh, I was going to say, wow. So Hannah drew Wednesday with the help of Asher a little bit. Looks great. I want to show you this. This is her coloring contest picture. She did a really good job. Hannah did this? Yeah. So if you guys were watching on our last live shopping video, right as we were checking out, there's some coloring pages there, which the store does that every year about Halloween. And Christmas too, I think. A couple of the holidays. Where they have a coloring contest, and win or lose, if you enter, you get a free candy bar. So you know the kids are wild about entering that. So Hannah, this is Hannah's entry and it's actually really really good she did it all by herself she stayed in the lines really well she did a really really good job i'm really proud of her she's mine this is yours yeah i'm not sure they're doing that age thing so i wrote the, the age and name and stuff on the back and that one's claudia's he comes for church sometimes thomas does i think a lot of times it's hard for him to wake up and he only has two days off a week and of course, since he's now living on his own, he's got shopping to do. I actually went to Walmart last night to get some medicine. And oh, we always do cinnamon rolls and chili for Halloween. And Grandma Kitty can't have gluten anymore so I've been trying to figure out how to make some gluten free cinnamon rolls so I had to go get some special flour and I went to the store and shopped last night when I was walking out you know they have those Walmart police that check your receipt and they just had somebody run out so they were checking everybody's receipt so he checked mine and then as I was going out the door I feel these two arms on my back of my neck, my shoulders and I'm like who's that and I turn around and it's Thomas and I look and there's like a half gallon of milk and like a whole bunch of just groceries just laying on the Walmart floor there. 
And I was like, what the hell happened? Did you fall down? And he's like, no, they were going to check my receipt, but I didn't have time. I, was gonna, I wasn't going to be able to catch you if I just didn't put my stuff down. So I put my stuff down and I came and, he came and caught me to say hi, which was really sweet. This bacon should not be sitting here. What? Yeah, I go to Magic on Fridays with Thomas. I didn't go last night, though. Just didn't feel like it. Ironically, that's why I wasn't going to do live dinner yesterday, because I was going to go to Magic, but then I didn't go, so... Hair, and this hair is about long enough for her to sit on. You ever sit on your hair on accident, Hannah? I don't know. I don't know. No. Oh, I'm glad the day's done. Dad. What, baby girl? Why are you going to look my little ears? Because everyone just steps on me. Oh, yeah. And sits on me. We didn't get a lot done today. Asher got rid of some junk and did some cleaning, I think. I edited the shopping video and got ready for live dinner. I didn't accomplish a lot. It, for some reason, the shopping video took a particularly long time to edit today. So. Hannah, I get tangled up in my shoulder, oh, shoulder length hair. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I know it's annoying to the girls that have long hair, but <clears throat> that's what they've had their whole life, so they don't know any different. <coughs> yeah, I've been thinking, Deb, that's not a bad idea. I've been thinking about giving a child a night to make dinner, maybe one or two nights a week. But... Like, I want to get more healthy food into my kids, more veggies and fruits and stuff, but let's just face it, my family's not the greatest on doing that. And so trying to make food that they will eat, but is also out, is outside of our comfort zone as I can get, obviously I don't pick live dinner as a time to do that. Because you guys don't want to hear me say, eat a bite, yes, eat a bite. No, I don't want to eat a bite. You don't want to hear it, see all that stuff. So that's why tonight was breakfast for, di for, lunch, for dinner and everybody's happy. But um, it's it can be challenging. And so if you get too, if I just go make a casserole, like nobody will eat it. Nobody. So I have to be careful about what I make and how I make it. I still, oh, wow. That's the full picture. Yeah. There's your little Wednesday. Did Asher have some more help with that a little bit? Yeah, I drew what she told me to draw. Uh, I see. No, you think I would know what a quiche is, but I have no idea what a quiche is. I'm only I'm new to the cooking game. I've been baking my whole life and making pizza, kind of like fun things. I like to make fun things, desserts. And you know, clone recipes, and that kind of thing. Making pure dinners for a family is only something I've been drafted into in the last four years since Andrea died. So I'm not really good at it. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I'm slowly getting outside of my comfort zone and making different things. Um, what have I made lately? We made a roast, which you may think a roast is, a, is easy, but it's not easy for me. Quiche is an egg pie. Oh, really? Why did I think quiche was something um, that I would not be interested in? Whole heaps of candled eggs in a pie dish for not a pastry crust. I didn't realize that, huh? Did they catch a bus to school? No, we live pretty close, so they usually walk. Um, on cold days or days where they're running late or forget to wake up, I take them to school. What? But generally they walk. Justice, Eden, and Claudia go together. Oh, are they doing Wednesday dances back there? Don't, don't climb up there. 
Don't jump on the couch. Don't stand on the couch. Are you doing the dance? Go ahead. Well, you can only be up there if you're going to do the dance. If you're just going to stand up there, otherwise you can't. Hannah, someone's ruining your picture. We ate what was served. We didn't eat it. We didn't get anything else. That's kind of how it was for me. Um, but it didn't help me. That's how it was for Andrea too. I spent many long nights in a dark room staring at my plate hoping the food would disappear or my parents would have mercy on me. And I, all I know for sure is it didn't make me a good eater. So maybe there's things I could have done better but food has never been one I we've been awesome at. <coughs> Apple dumplings baked in caramel sauce. That sounds pretty good. Cheese and cream into the scrambled eggs. I put some milk in these eggs. I put cheese in them before. Andrea used to do it that way. No. As long as it's not too much, they would like it. Why are only some kids in school? It's, we're doing it on a case-by-case case basis, so it may not make a lot of sense to you, but it's a, it's a complicated landscape in our house. There are some people, I think, who need it, some people who want it, and um, there's a mixture of that. Some who absolutely do not, or it won't be good for them, and mixing together again with what I think is right. And, looking at the future and trying to adapt and be flexible so trying to be a single dad of nine kids is like herding cats and it's not always I don't even have an ideal situation I really believe in homeschooling and think that's probably the best way to raise kids but in this situation it's not something we can it's there's other advantages to the other ways too so how do you discipline them? That's uh, that's the part we've always been really good at, um, and we have a privilege system. And if they do certain things and maintain certain goals, um, if they don't get too many demerits, which is like getting your name on the board at school, then uh, they can get on different privilege levels. And which privilege level out of the three or four levels? determines how often they can play the computer, what time they go to bed, if they get any other special privileges. Um, and so, and we kind of just, we started off really well with Thomas and Asher when they were young. And as other kids grew up with them, they just kind of melded into the group. So, I've never sat down and never taught Hannah any of the rules, but she knows the rules and she's good and well behaved. Um, because she's around other kids that are good and well behaved, if that makes any sense. And she looks fat. Actually, it's black and white. If it looked wrong, I wasn't eating it. Yeah, I, I was very, very picky with food. Very picky. Like, I still am picky. But I'm not, a, I, I'm not afraid of food anymore. It used to be I was afraid of food. And what I mean by that is... The idea of eating something I didn't like was so scarring to me that I worked myself into a frenzy or throw up or like break out in a sweat. I'll never forget, I went to an Arby's when I was a little boy. My dad and my mom, my real dad, before my dad passed away, and they had these little pound puppies that you got if you ate a, a meal. But my dad was not going to let me eat the, have the pound puppy unless I ate the whole thing and I just cried and cried and cried. I eventually did it, but you know, I was trying to save the pound puppy. But anyways, I was just really, really picky. I didn't eat, I don't eat hamburgers. I don't eat corn. I don't eat I don't any vegetables. It was terrible. And Andrea was just as bad. So we didn't make, we weren't a good team for having kids that were not super picky. But you know what's funny is I was thinking about it the other day. Thomas is a very good eater. He eats anything. Um, Asher will eat anything too. He may not like it, but if I put it in front of him, he'll eat it. And it's the same with Judah. Justice has become a good eater. He'll eat anything. That's not true. He'll eat very well anyways. Eden's a very good eater. 
So it's really Solomon on down that are the really, really picky ones. And even they are getting better and better at it. So well, does this can eat anything, but he won't eat it. Yeah, yeah. And just as it's a choice. He could. He would eat it. But he just chooses not to a lot of times. And if someone drew my gazelle, see it in your face on the other side. Yeah, exactly, Ava. You're exactly right. Yeah, Every family cool. does have their own quirks. The kids were babies that give them vegetables. Yep. Yep. We fed them. Andrew made our, a lot of our homemade baby food. Um, Hannah was probably the one who got the least of that since Andrea wasn't around for it. She fed her some stuff before she died. But ironically, of the little ones, Hannah's probably the best eater of the little ones. Even if she doesn't like it, and even if she doesn't want to eat it, if I ask her to, she will without, her, without a lot of fuss. Dad, one of the pictures on TV I see is a person eating in her high chair, but she's so much sauce all over her face. Your voice sounds bad too, doesn't it? Does my voice sound bad to you guys? Can you tell that I'm not feeling well, or am I able to fool you? <clears throat> You can hear it in my voice? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone's ruining your picture. Not me. Not me. Much better night than the Bible said the other night. I, I talked a lot the other night. And uh, I can feel my voice getting weaker the more I talked. Stanley Tumblr. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like one of those. Is it actually a Stanley? I don't think it actually is, but it's like those. Who's, who's it drink? Whose uh, cup is that? Is that yours? Yeah, Jesus gave it to me, but it's broken, and that's why I gave it to me. So I, I can't see. Here, so you can never, ever drink. Actually, you can only drink. Actually, you can only drink. Hey! Actually, you can only drink. 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 Oops, Claudia didn't have the coughing, although she's been coughing a little lately, but I think she's got something new. So I think there's actually like three sicknesses going around. I kind of wonder if maybe I have them all. I don't, I don't know. I haven't puked, but I have a strong aversion to puking. So just through sheer willpower alone, I haven't puked since I was 17. And I probably will never puke again. So, didn't you break your streak like last year or something? No. Give it to me. I'm not breaking, broken it. I came pretty close a couple times. Give that to me, Sally. Where are my treasure? I don't have. Oh, I have to. Sounds a little raspy. Yeah, Claudia, she was better from her puking but then the last three days she started sniffing and like she got up in the middle of the night last night and said daddy i can't breathe good and it felt really bad for her you see all the ages of our kids again please andrea used to get the biggest kick she would ask her friend mate how old are the kids and she'd say you can you do it tommy so and I never knew. I almost was kind of proud of the fact that I didn't know. That kind of embarrasses me now. But, you know, as a dad, dads aren't around as much. and not paying attention as much. And I think they're more singularly minded than a woman is. Anyways, but now that Andrea died, I feel like somebody should know the kid's birthday. So Thomas is 21. Asher's 20. No, he's 19. Right? No. 19. 19. Yeah. And oh Judah's 17. Like Judah's 18. No, 17. Nope, he's 18. No, 17. Judah's 18, right? No, he's 17. Oh. He, he had a birthday. 18. Yeah, he had a birthday. 17. He had 18. Judah Justice is 16. No. Eden is 13. I'm fine. Solomon is 12, 11. Yeah. Sophia is 10. No, no. 9. No. Claudia is 8. Yes. Hannah is 5. Yeah. 
For me, that's pretty good. So. Daddy, you're gonna be you're gonna be 46. No. Yeah, I I'm not, I don't like Duke either, so it's pretty scarring to me. Daddy, you're 47, so you're gonna be 48. Okay. All the kids are about two years apart, all of them. So give or take a couple months, and so for a little while, they can be a little off. They'll be only a year apart. But Dad. Eden looks a lot older than she is. She's very mature looking, and she's very tall. Yeah. So, I forget that she's only 13 sometimes. Dad, I was just saying you are 46, but you're 47. No, I'll be 47 next week, I think. No, no, this you're year, 40. Dad. No, you're 40. Then on the 25th, I'll be 47. No, you're 47 right I'm now. I'm not. Don't be Asian me. Dad, Dad, you, no, he's 47. Oh, I'm sure that Claudia brought it home from school. I have no doubt. Or one of the kids did. Ha! I got it. Daddy got four. Daddy got four. Yeah. Oh, I probably won't get a cake. Dad, you always. I don't like cake. What? I can understand what you're saying. So There's some cough drops in my room. Okay, Dad. You can have a couple of Jolly Ranchers, sure. Okay, Daddy. Um, um, Dad, you always. I love have... cheesecake. I do. Dad, you always. But I don't want to make my own cake. I've always been not. quite an aversion to throwing my own party, so I won't do it. But Dad, you always have Rice Krispie cake, though. Yeah, mommy would make me Rice Krispie yeah. cake sometime because I don't. I don't like cake. I'm not a frosting person. When I was about four or five years old, my mom bought me a Cookie Monster cake because I begged her and begged her and begged her for it. And it was just pure blue frosting with a cookie in its mouth. And I got so sick of frosting that night, I never liked it ever again. Dad, do you don't like frosting anymore? It's so good. Dad? What? Where do you always go when it's your birthday? I don't. We usually go out to eat at the Chinese food place for my birthday. We turn to King Buffet. Yeah. Why does it make the word Chinese King Buffet? It's weird. I don't know. It's weird. It's not how you spell it. It's spelled wrong. Wrong. Um, I believe it's actually how it's spelled. The no. Chinese society. This is pathetic. Yeah, it's the only hand I want to draw. I could have the kids make it, but I even feel bad about asking the kids, kids, make me a birthday cake. That's just like, just, I can't. I, I, it doesn't feel right to me, so I, so a lot of times they'll surprise me with things, and they usually surprise me with some presents and stuff, and I kind of thought about giving them some money and taking them to the dollar store and letting them buy some presents, but, for daddy, but, um, I don't know, it just makes me feel weird to make my own birthday or to crack my whip for the birthday. One of these days, I'll be married again, and I'll have somebody to make me birthday stuff. Hey, Dad, um, do you know how well, I get you the best birthday present all the time? Why? Because you're the best dad ever. Oh, thank you, sweet girl. Hey, Dad, do you know that Omo game and Cookie Monster game on my tablet? Well, you can call Omo and Cookie yeah. Monster on my tablet. Hey. Powdered sugar on brownies. Maybe you're right, must love dogs. I just, it's something I can't bring myself to do. So. Buttercream frosting, if it's like the frosting I make for cinnamon rolls, I make this frosting for cinnamon rolls, which is basically just a whole bunch of butter and powdered sugar with some vanilla. And so if that's what buttercream frosting is, I probably would like it. So, but even then, I have to warm it up so it's like melted. So, I probably would love a quiche. I've heard people say, "I baked you a quiche," and that just it, in my mind, for being a kid, it just triggers bad thoughts. But it sounds really good. So. I'm doing a bone marrow. Oh, I'm holding the way to draw. 
Put up your banner tablecloth, nice breakfast, enjoy your day. But see, for me, if I did that, I would enjoy the day less. Like sitting there making myself a sad little birthday cake or hanging up birthday decorations for myself, it would it would kind of wreck me emotionally. So because Andrew always did that for me and it was always so sweet. But this stupid square. Wow. You know, before I we had kids. Andrea planned all kinds of amazing birthdays for me, and we had we had a toga party once. We had this photo scavenger hunt she planned, where we had a whole bunch of people that we know, and we gave everybody a disposable camera, and they had to take a picture of all the things on a list. So they brought this disposable camera around, had to take a picture of all these things all over a city, driving around, had a lot of really fun times, and so she made birthdays very very special. So you may have noticed all the, that's one of the things she was, will always be known for is going really big on birthdays and making me, every kid and me feel very, very, very special. And so because of that treatment, if I, if I do it for myself, I'd be in tears the whole day. So I'd rather not have anything and then do that. So. Now, I, that doesn't mean that nothing happens. Asher and Judah and sometimes Thomas, they all pick up the reins. Like the like for Christmas, they gave me an i9 processor, which if you're into computers, that's the best processor money can buy. They, they got me like an $800 computer processor. And they all went together. Thomas and all the boys went together to get it. And there'll be decorations hung up. And there'll be some presents, I'm sure, on the table. But it's because I have great big boys that are taking care of everything and little 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 girls and boys that are drawing me nice cards and stuff so I'm a very blessed guy and I like it the way it is so yeah you're right about getting them gifts I, I thought like I, said, I thought about giving them some money turning them loose at the dollar store or letting Asher take them during the week or something and that might still happen so Yeah. It does smell good. Add onto it. I know that I mean I can tell you I can see the argument from your guys' side. I understand the benefits of it, but I just can't I just can't do it. I just can't. So I hope you can understand. Sometimes I'm holding on a lot less than it might look like I'm holding on. <laughs> Hyped up hot lemonade. I that sounds interesting. Dad, I'm gonna go teleport. Be right back. I used to make the mini cheesecakes for Thanksgiving. Maybe I should do that. I'll teleport back. I just got off from downstairs. Aw, thank you. That was very sweet, Amanda. What? <laughs> Silly girl. Dad, I just came back from downstairs, and this is what I grabbed. Yeah. What if all these nuggets are so sad? I can pick these up and make it into a long time. I know. I think the kids have my birthday off. I think they do. Oh. Let me try. I don't want to get you sick, sweet girl. I don't think you have what I have yet, so. I'm not going to touch you too much. So now I got my vanilla present. I'm yeah, I'm not planning on the channel going away. I think this is my legacy. You know, for all the... You know, social media is an interesting thing to have in our society. But for all the possibly negative effects, it's a way for you to affect future generations long after we're gone. Like imagine if you could go on a, online right now and watch a video of your great-great-grandfather's 
birthday as a kid or how he raised his family or the struggles he had in his life. This is a reminder. Wouldn't you like to it watch that? After supper chores. I would. And maybe it's not very interesting to my kids now, but down the road it probably will be. So it's kind of like a living diary and a legacy of how we did things. So you can watch on our channel, you can watch this little girl grow up from a baby. You can watch Hannah be born. You can watch Andrea die. You can watch a single dad try to figure out how to do his life and find love again. And and sooner enough, it's going to be getting married again and trying to mix a family again together. And so it's just like literally real life. We're not like other channels that have scripts and got plans and we're just, this is just real. So I'm really grateful to have the YouTube platform. So. Dad, um, that reminds me of what you said on the first one about me being a baby with mom. Well, that reminds me of when mom was making a video in yours and mom's room. And I remember that. And I was in a dress. It helps these kids remember things more, too. We have a lot of pictures and a lot of videos that float around. And so they remember things from when they were little, not because they directly remember it, but because they constantly have reminders. I have a screensaver that changes pictures all the time. Right? And so they remember. You guys, calm down. And I don't know how to draw anything. I'll help you. Oh, we're so glad that you're here too. I'll just draw the doing things yeah we watch it every now and then i have a video it's actually on our channel somewhere look for mills county archives where i interview thomas and asher as little boys and ask them things like what do you want to be when you grow up what do you think about this what do you think about that and it's really cute I know. I I was doing an interview with the kids and I kind of quit doing that. I have a hard time even just recording the videos and ed and editing them. Life is so, so hectic between my business and the homeschool and now helping kids with homework and public school and doing schedules and making dinners and, plan and fixing things around the house, making plans and having time for fun, game nights, pizza night, taco night, doing all the things, plus church and trying to maintain a family. It doesn't leave a lot of time ed for editing videos, which is why we have a lot of live videos. Because they're just done, you know, and so what's it called? Oh, beautiful. But one of these days, one of these days I'll have more time to do more. So. I am behind on some birthday videos. All righty, well, I think it's about an hour, so I think we're going to have to let go. No. Do you like doing the videos, Anna? Yeah. This little girl loves having live videos. All righty, well, I think we're going to call this a wrap, everybody. Yes, what do you want to do? You want to keep it on? What do you want? <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to have to cut it out. So, no, yep, no. everybody like the video on your way out. Leave a comment. Um, we appreciate all of you guys very, very much. We love you, and we will see you guys later. No! I'll, oh, you got to show off your brother pictures. Oh, you drew the mic tonight, Glocks. Is this Solly's? No, sort of. I didn't finish it. It's a Mike and I box he drew. It looks great.
didn't. I didn't. <coughs> <coughs> I didn't. That's what Asher drew the box on the other. I didn't make it. All right, see you guys later. Thanks no. a lot. I'm sorry, sweet girl. Bye. Bye. Bye.